could I have? Have more teamy stuff to show you. I swear this company is so awesome. This is like, I don't even know what. Future of shopping maybe, I don't know, but it is awesome and I love it. I'm having so much fun shopping on there and looking on there and I always have more stuff in my cart that I can buy and it's just so much fun. So first off, I'm gonna show you a shirt because I think this is the coolest looking shirt. Should I try it on for you? Get a hold of it properly here. Look how beautiful this shirt is. Is this cool or what? It's like, looks like gold. Um, what is that word? Gold flakes is what it looks like to me, or like gold paint splatter. I just think it is the coolest looking shirt. I'll try it on for you. Be right back. Now, I normally wear a medium or a large, so I went ahead and got a large just to be on the safe side because sometimes things from catalogs run, a little, well, not really catalogs, but you know what I mean. Sometimes things run small, so I wanted to make sure it would be comfortable. So here it is. I like it. I really like it. Okay, let's go on to our next. Oops, sorry for the hitting the can hitting the table, making the camera shake. Earthquake! Next, I have the cutest little skein of yarn in the whole wide world. But this isn't just a little tiny skein of yarn. It's glow-in-the-dark yarn. So we are going to leave this sit here on the table until the end of the video, and then we're going to turn off the lights and hope that it will glow. Because that's pretty darn cool. I bet I have a ladybug, uh, sorry, I have a lightning bug crochet pattern that I have been wanting to make for a long time. And normally when you buy the glow in the dark yarn, it's like $10 for a skein, not much bigger than that one. So I have been biding my time, waiting for to find some magical discount. And I finally did. So I'm super excited. Okay. Next up, we have a storage container. If you know me for very long, you know that I love storage containers. Get some of that glare off of there. So this storage container has multiple uses. You could put drills in them. Oh my God. Each one is individually bagged. That's so cute. Look. They have their own little bags. I love it. So these are a little bit, they're very similar to the Harbor Freight containers that I use. They're just not as tall. So you could definitely use these for drills, but my plan is to use them for jewelry. Because I have got a bunch of earrings, which you can see I wear them all the time, um, that I don't have room for in my jewelry boxes, and I don't want to just throw them in drawers. So I thought that I would try this little container out, and I think it's going to work perfectly for my earrings. So I will have to let you know how that goes. It's so cute. I like cute little things. Um, next, speaking of jewelry, next I have the most adorable, I love cherry things. Way back when, when I was a youngin, I used to have my belly button pierced and I always wanted a cherry um, belly button ring. And I never could find one that I wanted. The, the one that I had in my head, like I wanted, I could never find one. So now I can wear earrings. Aren't they cute? I love that matte finish on the cherry. It's very, very cool. I like it. They're a little bit big for my head, 
but I don't care. I'm going to wear them anyway because I love them. Okay. Then, what's this? Oh, speaking of things I love. Get this open. Because I want to see how these feel. I think they're resin, but I'm not sure. Yes, they are resin. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So these, and I could even turn these into, um, how am I going to show you? I could even turn these into earrings too. How about we leave them in the bag so I don't spill them everywhere. So they, there are two different styles. There's one with the wings slightly open and one with the wings closed of these adorable little ladybugs. And you can use them on cards, on any kind of project you can glue it to. They're so cute. I love that they're almost life size. They're a little bit bigger than... I can't speak today. What is wrong with me? Let me get some more tea. Brain needs to communicate to the tongue. Okay, next I have a fun package of wheels and gears, again, for craft projects. Some of them have loops on them already, so you could make them into necklaces if you wanted to. I plan on using these in some resin projects. But I love there's even patina green ones in there. There's every color, brass, rose gold, silver, gold. I love it. Love it. So I can't wait to use those in some projects. These are another pair of earrings and I have to open them to show you the full beauty. They're so cool. And again, they're big, bigger than I normally wear, but hey, who says I have to wear tiny earrings all the time? People wear, I always felt like I couldn't get away, get away with big earrings. But I recently bought myself some hoops. I've been wanting some nice hoops. And I found some at Kohl's. Come on. Come out without spilling things. All right, so here is, get my face out of the way. So it is a hummingbird and it's an ear hugger, kind of. Let's see if I can do this from this distance. Yay, I found it. My earlobes are already saggy. <laughs> I don't want it to fall out. <laughs> don't fall. And I like it, they come with rubber backs. They're not just those little stoppers. They actually are the look like the metal backs, but they're clear rubber. Okay, there we go. So you can see the, the bird's beak, so to speak, is the post. It's really cute. I like these a lot. I was and originally, when I first saw them, I thought about buying them for my mother because my mother loves hummingbirds. But then when I saw them in the package, when I got the package, I was like, I don't think she'll wear these. So I think I'm gonna keep up. So I'm gonna see her tomorrow night. So I'm gonna see how she feels about them. And I, I'm thinking she will say they are too big. And I'm hoping she says they're too big so I can keep them. <laughs> All right, next is a very nice item for your craft supplies. Looks like a regular ink pen, right? But it is not. It is a teeny tiny blade for an X-Acto knife. And I didn't bring anything over here to cut with. Oh wait, yes I can, I can cut on this. Excuse my extreme close up. 
I'll use my, oh, oh my word, come on. So this is picture I entered in the fair. Didn't get a single thing. So I'm just gonna use the back of this foam board. So on the back is my, um, my information. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut where the tape is so you can see if this is really sharp or not. So I'm gonna cut the paper and the tape, and I'm not pressing hard. And let's see, whoops, I didn't cut through the... Yeah, works good. So let's see if I can do this up here. Oh, see, I can't do it from this angle. You could have got to put a little bit more pressure. Can't do it from that angle. So anyway, it works. Here, I'll do just uh, there. See, it works. And you could carry this in your purse if you have use for a um, a knife to cut in your purse. Just make sure it doesn't get engaged. I don't know. I like it. It will stay on my craft desk. All right, next I had to buy. Now I have a gold pair of these scissors, and I have been eyeballing new ones for quite a while on Amazon, but these particular scissors are very pricey on Amazon, and I didn't know where else to get them until now. So now my gold pair of scissors has the absolutely gorgeous oil slick finish, and Oh, excuse me. Now I have a pair of rose gold ones, which I know Emily is going to steal a pair of them. I don't know which one she's going to steal, but let's see how sharp they are. And of course, I put my sample thing way over here like a dummy. Actually, no, I'm not cutting that because I want to use these are going to be used for yarn, so I don't want to cut those. And I'm not cutting little pieces off of my little baby skin because I might need all of it for my lightning bug. Who am I kidding? I can cut a little bit of it. All right, so I'm going to turn, turn you down. I'm turning you down. Ta-da! Ooh, it's on there tight. I'm cutting really small pieces. <laughs> oh, this one's not wanting to cut. This one's not as sharp. So maybe I'll have to use these for uh, paper. But this one did pretty good. But I love these scissors. I absolutely adore the shape of them. Look like little birds. I think they're so cute. And I've actually had mine my gold ones for so long that the gold is actually coming wearing off on the handles. That's how much it's gotten used. And of course, you know how much I crochet, so it doesn't really make a big surprise, right? Okay, so next item, which is another item that will probably be stolen by my daughter. I got this cool Wednesday Adams brooch pin. And again, I love the finish on this because it is more of a matte, almost just barely textured, just a little bit textured. Kind of freaks me out that she doesn't have a face, but at the same time, I like it. So there's that. And 
And this is something else that I have been wanting for a really long time for my crochet work and just never spent the money on it myself, for myself. So if you've never seen one of these before, this is a thread cutter. See all the little grooves? Again, I'm gonna have to cut my wasting it. This is actually airplane approved. You can carry this to cut if you are a crocheter or cross stitcher or knitter or anything like that and you need to cut thread or string or yarn, this is approved. You get, this is safe to take on airplanes because none of the blades are exposed and you cannot, you can't cut yourself on this. It would take some serious talent. See? Like it. It's really pretty too. Okay. Next, let's see, let's do, oh, let's do my other shirt. I got another shirt. And this one I'm hoping will work with leggings because when I saw it, that was the first thing I thought of was such a cute shirt with leggings. So let me back up here so I can stand up with it. Now this is a 1X. And again, the reason I got the 1X was because I wanted to wear it with leggings and I knew that it would be a lot longer. And it's probably a good thing I got it as a 1X because it's not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but it will work. The 1X I was thinking mostly for length because I figured with this type of shirt, it wouldn't matter if the shoulders were a little bit big. But I like it and I will be able to wear it with my leggings. Look how cute it is. Isn't it cute? And the, um, the flowers are almost like a little puff paint. And look at the buttons. The buttons are so pretty. So cute. All right, I won't try that on for you because I don't feel like putting on leggings right now. This out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. I got another. Which ones did I say weren't sharp? Is it these? I hate to do this. I hate to. <laughs> okay, so I got myself another set of Van Gogh washi tapes. This one is a little bit different. It has more gold on it. So you can see there's Starry Night, there's the sunflowers, there's the wheat field. So it's got a lot of gold on it. I really like it. Plus I wanted to get another set because I didn't want to run out <laughs> I don't want to run out. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? I hate to use pretty, that's why I have so much washi tape. Cause I hate to use it and use it all up. And I'm such a goon, I tell you. All right, moving on. Now, on to the real reason you're in on my channel and thank you for watching everything. So this, I bought myself another Tic Tac container because you can never have enough containers. It's true. Especially when you've got so many projects that you wanna do right away and you don't wanna put them away because then you forget about them so you kit it up so you have it out and you still don't get to it in a timely manner. Guilty as charged. So this is 
a lovely Tic Tac container. Has the can all the containers in here? I can't remember how many's in here. Sixteen times four. Quick, do the math. So sixteen times four, which is what? Let's see if I can do it. Um, twenty-four, sixty-four, sixty-four. Is that right? Okay, so that is an awesome container. It has a nice latch, it doesn't come open, and it has a lovely little handle. So this is a nice, nice Tic Tac container. Very happy with it. And at first I didn't like these containers, the Tic Tac containers, because I thought they would be way too hard. And I'm actually kind of moving more towards liking them better because the opening is smaller and there's less chance of spilling your drills and you use a funnel. So they've definitely grown on me. All right, next I got some stickers. Out of the bag here. So it came with a standard toolkit. We have regular drills, pinks and reds, a little bit of blue and green there. But here are the most adorable love gnomes. Are they the cutest or what? Love them. Love them. Super cute, and they're small too, so these will work really good on cards. Really, really good on cards, because it's awesome, because you do all the drill work, you peel it off and stick it on your paper and cut a few layers and make, you know, make it all cute, and you got a pretty quick card. Super adorable. And they are nice and clear too, look how clear, well, Oh, good grief. Oh, of course, it's not going to focus. That makes them look blurry. They are not blurry. It is very clear. Printed beautifully. Okay. Next. Got three more things after this one. We're almost done. This is a new style to me. I hadn't seen one like this before. Or if I have it, I just didn't pay attention to it. It's a light up drill pin and it the whole barrel lights up. So the light is way up here, but it goes all the way through and then leaves a nice Circle, circle of light on your work surface. So I think this one is going to be work really, really cool. And I was going to see if you can change the batteries. No, it doesn't look like. But it was inexpensive enough that you could just buy a new one when it when it. Um, I almost said dries out when it runs out of battery. And they put the little cap so you can't push it down. So if you do want to carry this in your travel case or in your purse, you can put, make sure you keep this cap so it doesn't turn on in your bag and waste battery. All right, the last three things I have to show you. The diamond paintings. So you have to bear with me while I open them move the trash so it doesn't end up in the floor. Actually, I probably should move all of this stuff back in the basket. So it's not in the way. Oops. There, now I have more. Okay. 
We're going to start with this one. One of my loves and one of my childhood laugh ats. Okay, we have a standard toolkit. And I won't take the time straightening out the plastic. I'll just. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? So it is a Starry Night esque. Snoopy and Woodstock. Now I've seen this finished and it looks phenomenal. So this painting, when I saw it on Team U, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get that. Because I saw someone that just posted that they finished it. So I must have it too. Must have it too. Isn't it cute? Look how cute. And again, it is a very nice, crisp painting. So you don't have to like, oh, what does that say? What does that say? None of that. And there are 20 colors. DMC numbers are right on the canvas. This is a 35 by 45. So it is just a smidge bigger to make it even harder to frame. 35 by 45. And the drills are round. And I'm not going to open them up because it's lots of blue, as you can see there. And then a little bit of extra color. Love that. That is my 666. I thought so. I always look to make sure because 606 and 666, when you see them separately, well, when I see them separately, I, ha I get them mixed up just a little bit. But 666 is my absolute favorite red. I love that red. It is like a true red. It is gorgeous. Okay, our next diamond painting is another childhood love. If I can get it out of the bag, I will show you. All right. Ooh, this is a deluxe kit. Got a big piece of wax, a little pin grippy, and bags. This is nice. Put these down here too, so they're not above the table. Oh, and I missed it. It came with, it also comes with a four placer. So that's even better. So this is a nice deluxe. Okay, hi baby kitty. Make sure it's 13. I'm just making sure the drills on the other painting match the item number and those also. So this is a 30 by 40. Grinch and Max. I have so many Grinch paintings. I love him so much. Just It's just such a good show. I love the show. I love the movie. I love both movies. All three of them are different. The the quickie cartoon that we grew up on. Well, if you're my age, you grew up on it. The the new the Jim Carrey one and the new animated one. They're all completely different stories. So I like all three of them equally. Look at Max's face. He's so cute. I love him so much. So this is a 30 by 40 with 25 colors. There is the canvas, nice and clear and crisp. There are your DMC numbers. Nice, simple alphabet, um, a numeric code. And here are our drills, again, in the nice metallic packaging. We're just going to take a peek at them like this. And last but not least, another childhood favorite. There. Okay. We got a standard toolkit. 
on this one. This one is a little bit, give me a minute to fix this. Okay, this one had a few more wrinkles in it, so I wanted to smooth it out as best I can. You can still see the wrinkles, but it's the Mystery Machine and Gang. Oh, excuse me. I shouldn't have that drink of tea. But isn't it cute? I love it. I hadn't seen one like this with all of them in the van, and I love that they're all sitting in the van and, like, driving towards you. I think it is just so cute. So cute. Daphne looks a little squish-faced, but I think they look pretty dang cute. Beautifully printed canvas. We have 23 colors on this 30 by 40. And this is going to actually be a really quick one because there's a lot of color blocking on this. So this will go pretty quick. <laughs> and here are the drills. Looks like we've got four, five. We have five bags of the background color. It doesn't look like it'll take that much, but if they say so, they say so. All right, again, numbers match. All right. So there it is. There's my team you haul. I tried to do it really fast because there was a lot of stuff to get through. So I hope that you like it and I hope you like how I do these videos. Um, I was able to, to find the shortened, um, well, they were given to me, which was even more helpful, the shortened um, links. So I can put everything in the description box and have a little title up at the top. So I'm learning, I'm still learning my um, software editing, my video editing program. I'm still learning it. I'm still trying to figure out everything I can do, but um, it's all for you. I'm trying to learn for you because I love you so much and I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Make sure you leave me a comment down below Check out the description box for all of the links for all of these items. And I will see you again very, very soon.